Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling and thank each and every one of you very much for making some time to watch the video. Much appreciated. Today we're going to be talking about why a lot of anglers struggle to get bit on a jerkbait. I hear it all the time. People say, man, my jerkbait game's weak. I just can't catch fish on a jerkbait. Um, we're going to get into that a little bit. And uh, this is actually something that you could I could do like a five hour seminar on it, but I'm going to try to give you guys a sort of the short and simple version, give you guys a foundation that'll really help you out if you're struggling. Um, real quick, a couple different things before we get started here, guys. Um, one of the things I'd like to invite everybody to do, if you haven't had a chance, please check out our View Product Shopping tab. When you click on the video, you'll see a little thing that says View Products at the bottom of the screen. I put like 30 products you guys might be interested on. And if you wanna, if you like what you see, see here on the channel and you're getting something out of it, that's the best way you can support the channel is by clicking on uh, those uh, products twice you got to click on the one product you want to see then click on the site and then the channel gets some credit for that much appreciated on that okay guys i hear it all the time man you know jerkbait fishing is <clears throat> hard to get bit on two different lure categories really i hear people talk about that with jigs and jerk baits simply because the reason that is is a, a jerk bait and a jig are the two most complicated lures to fish there are more variables involved in jerkbait fishing than any other lure category out there. There's so much to it in terms of profile sizes, cadence, retrieves, tackle, where you throw it. It's it, The list is endless. Um, so I'm gonna give you guys some, some reasons why you're struggling and what you can do. The first thing, um, the one of the things that people struggle with and the first thing why you're probably not catching a lot of fish on it is your retrieve and your cadence. Um, jerk baits are not angler friendly in the sense that you have to put the action on them yourself. It's not like a crankbait or a spinner bait or something, or even a, a worm that you can just drag along the bottom. <coughs> you can't just throw a jerk bait out and reel it in and catch fish unless you're fishing in a private lake that's never seen a lure before. You got to impart the action on it. You got to impart the action to make it dart and twitch. And one of the big elements to catching fish and triggering fish to react to a jerk bait is you've got to figure out what that right retrieve and cadence is and it takes practice. Um, you've got everybody out there, most people today, jerk, jerk, pause, jerk, jerk, pause. That's probably the most biggest over, oversimplification and why you're not catching a lot of fish on a jerk bait is because there's so many retrieve variables. The retrieve variables have to do with the length of the jerk, the speed of the jerk, how long you pause it, how much you pull it, uh, every all your line test and everything that goes with it. There's a lot of different elements to to go that, but just a uh, uh, overall uh, simplification as far as explanation on this is let your water temperature dictate that. The warmer the water temperature, the more aggressive you want to work the bait, and the colder the water temperature, the more the slower you want to work the bait. Not necessarily suspend, but just you know slow it down a little bit. The next one is jerkbait profile. Jerkbaits come in a lot of different profiles. Like for example, this is a Mega Bass 110 Junior, but you've got jerkbaits anywhere between like this three and a half inch model up to five or six inches. One of the things that you have to do is you have to match the jerkbait size to the primary forage at the time of year. And that changes throughout the course of the year. One of the biggest reasons a lot of guys don't catch a lot of fish on jerk baits is they simply don't have enough jerk baits. You, most people I fish with, I say, you know, they say, well, check out my jerk bait box to see what I have here. And they'll have seven or eight jerk baits, guys. There's no way that can cover color and profile in there. You've got to have some small jerk baits, you got to have medium sized ones, and you got to have some large ones, and you got to have different lips on them to get down to different. Uh, depths on there. That's one of the reasons you're not catching this. You're simply you're, you're simply not matching the bait to the condition. That's a big a big mistake I see a lot of people make. The next one with that is color, guys. Jerk baits are the most color sensitive lure of any lure category out there because a jerk bait is a sight bait, and you can't just say, well, I like a you know black back chrome side and expect to catch fish on it all the time. You've got to have a wide selection of jerk baits in metallic finishes, clear finishes, and flat finishes to match the sky conditions out there. Um, another reason, and guys, you can say you can say this sounds like a commercial, whatever. It's not a commercial. 
one of the reasons you're probably not catching many is if you're not using mega bass jerk baits every single pro in this country every single pro in this country has mega bass jerk baits in their boat mega bass jerk baits will just outperform other lures 10 to 1 and you can you know tell me it's a commercial whatever it doesn't make any difference it's the reality of the situation one of the reasons a lot of people don't catch fish is they try to uh, basically find a, a cheaper jerk bait one that has cheaper components and while those are going to catch some fish they're simply not going to catch as many fish on a mega bass i can promise you guys if you go on a on the water lesson with me or if we went tomorrow down to table rock lake fishing and i had a couple of my little tricked out mega bass jerk baits and you take any other jerk bait out there you're going to be wanting one of my tricked out mega bass i mean that's just the reality of the situation so i can't really stress that enough another thing is fishing tackle you guys that are on the channel here you've heard me talk about this spin and tackle is a way to fish a jerk bait the reason you want to fish spinning tackle and the reason a lot of people struggle with jerk bait fishing <clears throat> is they tend to fish their jerk baits on bait casters with too heavy a line now there's some situations where this will work but a lot of situations you simply cannot attain the depth or get the action on the lure unless you throw a spinning rod with light line six and eight pound test line and there's a bunch of hardhead fishermen out there that just will not do it and that's one reason they're not catching me fish on a jerk bait that's just the, the you know the the way it is with that so in other words guys we could get this video could go on for hours but the main reason that you're probably struggling with your jerk baits is you, is that you haven't understood or figured out the right retrieve or what retrieve or cadence is you haven't figured out or you don't have a big enough selection of different profiles and colors of jerk baits and you're not throwing your jerk baits on the right equipment those three variables together there have a huge impact on it i mean especially the clearer the water the clearer the water the more that this is uh, important because jerk bait like i said it's it's one of the funnest and most effective ways i've ever seen to catch a bass but also it takes some it's an art form and it takes some mastery there's a lot of variables to it and a lot of people just do not want to mess with that and uh, it's once you get into it and once you start catching some bass on it you'll understand what I'm talking about you want to expand your repertoire but basically just um, a lot of people just oversimplify the bait and it's not a simple bait it's a complicated complex lure one into the other uh, and uh, you sort of have to treat it as that so anyway hope that shed some light on on it guys also if you guys are interested in any mega bass or any other jerk bait i'll include the bait works link in the description they've got a, one of the biggest jerk bait selections i've seen around the country and that's a, another good way to support the channel if you want to do that so thanks a lot guys much appreciated see you